Hi guys, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. Today's Thursday, Inspire Me Day, and I was inspired by Miss Tina slash she was inspired by Miss Gail. So, <laughs> um, I will try to remember to link the video below. I don't know about Gail's video. I didn't see it. I'll see if it's linked in Tina's video, and if it is, I'll pull it over. Um, but anyway, we're going to make these fun little, they call them faux envelope, uh, faux, em faux front envelopes. I'm calling them a faux front envelope pocket because I don't, um, I didn't do it exactly like they did. I make mine into a pocket by cutting um, the top of the envelope off so that you have the opening. Okay. So on this one I did just, I just did this before I started the video. Um, I found this in my drawer and so I thought, oh, a black one would be cool because I could write in white pen, you know. So the inside of the envelope was white, so I went ahead and papered. Part of it was coffee dyed, but it wasn't completely, so I took a piece of scrapbook paper and stuck it in there, so that made that inside nice. So all you're going to need today is some scrap paper, or I have, what I have is um, a couple pieces of scrap, and then I have whole sheets, but you, we're not going to use the whole sheet. Um, so if you have scraps, pull them out <laughs> okay <laughs> so you're gonna need um, let's see you're gonna need your scissors bone folder if you have it if not use your scissor handles you're gonna need your glue uh, selection of papers you might want to make sure your papers are double-sided or coffee dyed or distressed you know so that because one side is gonna show um, when you flip it open like I said it's gonna um, it's gonna be right here for them to write on so this is going to show. So if you don't mind stark white, then don't worry about it. But if you do, then you'll want to have either double-sided paper or whatever. Now this is copy paper, 33 pound, um, I believe it's 125 GSM. This is um, cardstock from a scrapbooking paper, so it's thicker. I'm not sure about the GSM on it, but it is the sturdy cardstock. Okay. This paper here, sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. This paper here is, it's not wanting to go in. <laughs> sorry, I'm fighting with this one. There we go. Um, is a little bit like, um, I think it's 80 pound, 80 or 100 pound. It's just the regular cardstock you get at Walmart. These envelopes I have are just your buffed Walmart brand. Um, I've got the kind that has the, the flat, you know, squared off, and then I have the triangular one. And so, what I'm going to do is put these papers aside. <clears throat> this is kind of going to be like a mass make, but it's not because I'm doing it as an inspire me because I wanted to make some for my journals and I didn't want to not bring you guys along. So, I decided to do a video. Um, so, I'm going to glue the tops of my envelopes closed. And if you're new to junk journaling or you haven't done this before, the reason I'm doing this is to seal this off so that I can just go ahead and trim off the top. And um, I will have a built-in pocket, just like that. Now, I guess you could do it, you know, um, vertical, not just horizontal, but because of the way they open, you'd be using less of your paper vertically like you wouldn't have as big a picture on here but I'm sure you could do it that way so you could cut the top off your envelope it just depends on what you want to do okay and the reason I'm bringing it all the way down is because once you cut this um, if you don't do the little squared part um, you will have an op a gap okay so you want to make sure that you get that gap. Making sure I'm in frame. How have I been doing on that, guys? Nobody said anything, so I think I must be getting it pretty good. I hope, I hope. You know how I feel about that. I can't stand it when I'm not in frame. <laughs> so if I'm not, you guys let me know. Or if I'm too far away, um, you know, not close enough, or if I'm too close. All that good stuff. It's hard to get, you know, get it perfect all the time, but I really want to try to do that for you guys. Okay. I'm 
All right. So how's everybody doing today? It's almost Friday. Yay. Now you guys are going to be seeing this. This is Wednesday of last week. Okay. So you guys will be seeing this when I'm only a week away from my vacation. Woohoo! <laughs> So next weekend, uh, next Thursday, so a week from today, your time, not mine, two weeks from my time, I will be um, heading out on Thursday of that week to go to Flagstaff. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I already told you in yesterday's video that Cordy's been doing the whole store thing, finding places for us to go and all that. So yeah, Flagstaff has got a lot of, like... It seems like they have a lot of fun places. Um, I haven't been there in, oh my goodness, let's see. My kids were young. My son is 33. My daughter is going to be 31 in November. So I think the last time we went, Joey was like 11 and she was about 9. Okay? So that gives you an idea of how long it's been. It's been over 20, 22 years. So yeah, we played in the snow, we went to, um, I remember that trip, we went to Williams and rode the train that goes up to the Grand Canyon, and then when we came back down, we came through, uh, we went up through Flagstaff, and then when we came home, we went down through Flag and back up uh, down into um, Sedona, you know, hit the Sedona shops and stuff, but yeah, so I have not made that trek. I've gone to Prescott and Prescott Valley to visit my late mother-in-law, but other than that, nope, haven't been. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have no idea if I'll actually get those done, but I'm going to try. Um, I had to practice this one. I'll be honest, it was, it was kind of hard for me to figure it out, and it was embarrassing. <laughs> I tried to do the video yesterday. <laughs> And I ended up, okay, I was, I had been filming and fussy cutting all day. And so I'm giving myself a little leeway here. I was kind of scattered all over the place. I still had stuff printing out. And um, by the time I started the video, it was around 1230, which for me, as you guys know, if you hang out with me at all, that's super late for me. And so late in the day, because um, Cordy's going to be home and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much, uh, you know, done with filming and stuff by then usually. So, yeah, I ended up trying to film it five times. I'm not kidding. Five times. And I finally gave up. It just was not working. Um, before I explain why it wasn't working, I want to explain this. So, what we're going to want, let me get the sample here real quick so you can kind of, I can walk it through with you. So we're going to be covering, okay, this side or this side, depending on which way you want your flap to open. I kind of like it to open like a book. So I'm going to be doing mine glued to the right, okay? So I'm going to want to have, I want to pick which part of the paper, first of all, that I want. Um, I really like this portion of the paper with the flowers on it, of course. So we want to leave about an inch to and a half to two inches. I mean, you could do two inches. I think it'd probably be better at about an inch and a half of this. Okay, so it's going to be around there that we're going to leave, and we're going to we're going to cut this so that there's going to be about a half inch for a hinge. Okay, so I'm going to trim this. Oh, come on, there we go. Off here, and now when I sit this down and make sure you, you've got your opening at the top, okay, when you start to do all the gluing and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave this over that, about that much, okay, and I'm going to kind of, yesterday what I noticed, for me at least, was that when I was trying to do it exactly to the edge and then trim it off, it was off. So I'm going to leave myself some leeway. I noticed Tina did that too. And I'm just going to fold this over on the side about a half an inch or so. Trying to make sure it's as even as possible. And my cut is kind of off on this side. So my hinge is going to look like it's off too. There we go. All right. So 
Oh, and you know what else? I need to really quickly want to distress this because I don't want it to be, um, I was thinking if I wanted to do it in a different color, but that's okay. We'll just do it in vintage photo. It's fine. So I'm going to distress all of this so it looks, you know, nice. I don't want it to be stark white. Now, if you like stark white, then by all means, leave it that way. I'm just kind of, you know, well, if you hang out with me at all, you know how I am. <laughs> if you don't hang out with me all the time, I love things distressed. Okay, so so now I'm going to go ahead and do it about right here. And like I said, I'm going to give myself a little overhang so I can even it out after the fact. Okay, and I'm going to put my glue. I was doing this yesterday, and this seemed to work better for me. I noticed that Tina had glued hers onto the paper, but I feel like I'm doing a guessing game when I'm doing that, so I'd rather just do it directly on the envelope where I need it and then hold it and press it down. Okay, give it a good rub. Now, now we're gonna trim, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead up the side here now on the top part it won't really matter because that part's cut anyway, but on your bottom be careful not to cut into your envelope. You don't want to mess up your pocket. I mean it can be fixed, but you know, it's easier if you don't. <laughs> so now we have our flap, okay? There's the front. Isn't that pretty? And what I'm going to do is take that same paper, just a different section of it, and I'm going to use that. Let me see. I have another piece over here. I think, yeah, it goes. Here, I'm going to cut this as evenly as I can because I kind of want this, these flowers, if possible. So now you want this paper to go over just a smidge, okay? And I made earlier, <laughs> yesterday's video, we did those, um, we did those little uh, tabs. I was wondering, nah, never mind. I was going to say I'd, I'd use, is that too bright? That's too bright. I'm going to go ahead and use the, the stuff I have here. And we're going to go ahead and make a tab, okay, that's going to go onto our flap. So I just took the same paper and I cut it in half. And you can, of course, use a tab. Um, like I'll pull mine out here and show you if I can get it to work right. It's a stubborn, I don't know, I don't like this one very much. I really want to get one of those whale tail ones, but, you know, they don't make them anymore, so <laughs> that's such a bummer. Oh, I didn't quite cut it long enough. Here, let's do it. Now, this is going to be too long, so I'm going to have to trim it again, but that's okay. At least it's, I think it's a little bit wider. I don't know, maybe it's not. Yeah, it's not. Never mind. This piece is not a good piece of paper to show you what I'm talking about. I need it to be wide enough so I can reach in. Let's see. I guess I could try to do the, uh, if I can get it to work, the sticky. Let's see if I can get this to work here. Maybe, maybe. It kind of gets stuck on there. Yeah, it's still too long. I want this fold to be in place. Okay, so the reason that I'm cutting it down so far is so that I can make sure when I, oh, come on now, when I do this that, oh, it's just sticking all over. This is embarrassing. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> I'll just, just, I'll just cut it myself. Okay, trim it. I'll use my little uh, difficult punch that I used yesterday instead and give it a pretty corner. How's that? I like that idea better. So you guys get to see me battle with this punch and cardstock. There we go. And it's the same day as yesterday. So this is like the what fourth time I've done this today. Oh, so much fun. I hope I'm not breaking my Tim Holtz. I, I gotta remember not to do it on top of there. Don't do it on top of your glass mat, okay? That's a Terra move. You don't want to make a Terra move, trust me. 
So as you can see now, we have the pretty little corners for our tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on here, but first I am going to distress it. I'll end up distressing this whole thing, but probably should have done the paper first too. But you can't really do that because you don't really know where it's going to end up on, you know, once you've glued it down. So you kind of have to do it after the fact. It's a little bit better idea. Okay. And I am going to do this piece that's going to be. Did on the wrong side. Okay. Now <laughs> we're good. I might as well just get this done right, real quick. All right. Now it'll match. Okay. So we're gonna take it over by just a breath so that it tucks underneath. So I'd say about an eighth of an inch, very small amount, okay? All right, so I'm gonna glue this down first. Put glue on both sides. I always, I don't know about you guys, I always glue my tabs all the way up to the fold. Um, I don't know if everybody does it like that, but I do. I like them to seal like all the way. And I want the flowers to show on the outside, so I'm going to leave that like that. Try to center it as much as you can to the middle of that paper. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take some glue and you're going to bring it, you're going to leave yourself some space so that the glue does not reach this paper, okay? You don't want it all the way to the end because you want that paper to be able to comfortably tuck underneath this piece of paper, okay? And I learned that the hard way yesterday. That was one of my videos. I kept screwing it up and going, why isn't this working? <laughs> and then I realized. Okay, so you wanna give yourself some room, like I said. And now we're gonna lay this down so that it's about an eighth of an inch over and it's centered. So put it out right there, and I press it down. Now I, I know, I don't know if you noticed, but I did glue this piece in as a pocket, okay? Tina was doing that and I liked the idea. Now I kind of liked even actually leaving, watch, I, I kind of thought this was cute. She had cut hers down, which I can see why. And when you trim it, make sure not to cut your envelope again. Um, I'm going to cut this just a little bit. I want to show you what I'm talking about. I kind of saw this as looking cute as a frame on the page to have a little bit of overhang with it so that when you glued it down, you know what I mean? I, I just thought it looked kind of cute. So I think I'm going to leave one with that on there and see how I like it when I put it in to the, to the journal because I, I really kind of like that idea. I kept, every time she cut it, I was like, you should leave that. It would be really cute, you know? And uh, I don't know if I'm right. I might be wrong, but I kind of, I think I'll like it. At least I think I'll like it. If you don't like it, by all means, trim it off all the way to the end. Okay? Okay. So there's our first one. Now I'll walk you through another one. And hopefully I'm not too confusing. This one took me, like I said, it took me a while to really get it down myself. Um, I really did have to practice it. It was embarrassing. <laughs> I was like, okay, I am totally screwing this up. Now, when I, this is from um, Miss Tina's kit, her new autumn kit. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. She did an absolutely amazing job on it. Um, it seems to be trending on Etsy that these colors are very popular for fall this year, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to close that for now. I wanted this little guy on the front. So I, on this one, I am probably going to bring it as close as I can. I'm still going to give myself a little bit of space to make a mistake, but you know, for the most part, 
and I want this to open up. So I'm going to scoot this. You know, it might fold into his little nose. I have to be careful how I fold him. But we're going to nip this paper at about, like I said, leaving myself about an inch and a half. Okay. And okay. Hopefully, I don't cut too much of him off. I think I've got it. I just really need to be careful how <laughs> I fold it. So yeah, I'm gonna. I want to make sure that he is showing. You know what I'm saying? Like that his little face is all there, not not just his eyes and part of his nose, but the whole nose. I got it, I got it. And this will be a good enough uh, size. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh well, I'm not using that part anyway. Um, this will be a good enough little hinge, so we'll be okay. Okay, making sure that my envelope is on the right side and that I'm not gluing the opening to the bottom, okay. All right, put some glue down. Won't need it quite as wide because my hinge is pretty narrow this time because of saving little guy's nose. So cute. Okay. And I'm gonna try and bring this as close to the edge as I can without, um, you know, because I really don't want to lose any of him. If I can help it. Let's see. Okay. Did pretty good, I think. Let's scoot this out just a little more. There we go. I feel like that's thick. Okay, it's good, it's good, it's good. I got him on there, yay! I didn't destroy my squirrel. My little squirrel friend, he's so cute, I love it. And now I'm just gonna trim very slightly on the bottom here, where there's just a little bit of an overhang. It's very small now. <clears throat> now, now what part? do we want to use? Uh, it's a little bit short, so I'll use this piece to pull it from. That is pretty, this little section here. Can I get all of it in? I think I can. I'm going to give myself a, a little bit of overhang to trim off because it's just better if you don't try to be too exact and you let it kind of happen. You can also, if you're using double-sided, you can also do the opposite side so that there's a contrast. Kind of like, um, like I used in this, uh, in this one, I used the opposite side of the paper. I folded it inside so you see the, um, the coffee dyed side. So you don't have to have it matching it, is what I'm saying. <clears throat> okay, so we're good. We're good. Okay, good. Now, let's make a nice little tab. How about, do I want to use the words or do I want to use the flower? I don't really think that you're going to be able to tell it's a flower too much once it's cut. I mean, it'll show, but you know what I'm saying. It's not going to show a ton on that tab. So, go ahead and fold that over. I really like the corners being done, but I'm gonna I'm gonna step right to my left here and use this other desk. I don't want to mess up my um, my mat, my glass mat, and I've really got to press on this hard. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Technically, I haven't gone anywhere. I'm just right here. <laughs> okay, one more side. 
Ugh. You know, this thing is really hard to push. Okay. There we go. So cute though. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do my little distressing. Okay. I hope you guys are having a good day and that you're getting some crafting done either with me or that you're working on your own projects. I have been um, gaining insight from so many of you, and I appreciate that. On our Facebook group, you know, you've really been posting some beautiful work. All of you, honestly, it's just beautiful. And fun. Some of it is, is oops, I'm gonna probably trim that anyway, so. Some of it's just fun, you know. I see stuff and I'm like, oh my goodness, I never saw that before. I never thought of that before. Or... And yes, you may see some of your ideas on our channel because we're family and this is where we uh, showcase it until you guys have your own channel. <laughs> and even after, I'll probably still showcase your work because I love it. I think it's awesome. So... I hope none of you mind. If I see an idea, I promise I will give you credit for the inspiration. Because you guys inspire. Praise God. I, I really believe that's the reason, you know, we're here um, doing this as a community. Is to It's part of our reason is to inspire each other, you know, to be a blessing to each other. I'm wondering if I get this up a little bit. Eh, I'm going to have to cover our little guy here, I think. Yeah. I don't want to cover the butterfly, though. So we'll just cover that little guy. It's a bummer, but it had to be done. <laughs> now, you know, what I was going to say is that I really feel like we're here, you know, we, this, this YouTube in all can be such an inspiring place you know I mean it's not always used as an inspiring place unfortunately but I really believe that if it's done with the right heart um, you know it can be a wonderful place for all of us to gather and love on each other even as strangers you know sometimes I found when I was driving for uber and I was going through um, probably one of the hardest seasons of my life when I started driving for Uber. And a lot of the joy from that job was getting to know strangers who became, you know, great acquaintances for those moments we were together in that vehicle. Um, I've said before, you know, you guys have heard me say, if you've watched me before, you know I, I've talked about the fact that there was so many people that I've, you know, have ministered to me or that I've ministered to in my car. And, you know, and it was, oh, this is crooked. Did I do it crooked? Or is it just my eyes are crooked? <laughs> I'm going to trim this one all the way down. Um, but, yeah, there were so many times. I mean, it was daily. It wasn't just once in a while. It was daily uh, that I would know that people were going to get in the car that were going to either speak something into my life or that needed me to speak something into their life and be encouragement to one another. And I got to tell you, it was a privilege and an honor to, to pray with them, to cry with them, to laugh with them, to rejoice with them, to help them out. Um, you know, it was just, and they were total strangers and going through what I was going through at that season in my life. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. Um, I love her paper, but going through that time in my life when I was, you know, it was, that was a season of, it was right after Alex had died, my late husband. Um, and it was, uh, 
during a time when I had watched my children go through some of the most difficult things in their lives. And then it was through the loss of jobs. It was through the loss of family, um, almost the loss of my daughter. Praise the Lord Jesus, he saved her life. She attempted suicide during that time. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm serious when I say that sometimes, I hope I didn't cut this wrong, but I think I'm guessing pretty good. When sometimes, you know, the Lord will use total strangers in our life to minister to us and and to comfort us and be a ear a listening ear that we might not have even known we needed at the time or that we knew we needed someone but didn't have anyone to turn to now this is one of my papers from and this is done on cardstock so it's much more um let me see if i have it here on some of the matte paper i thought I did, but I don't know. Here it is. So you'll see the difference on the cardstock and on the matte photo. This is what it really looks like. <laughs> and it's pretty here, but it's much different. You can tell just the difference in the paper. So, yeah. But that's out of the new Roses in Bloom um, kit. But yeah, so this channel, I see it personally, for me, I see it the same way. That it's a place for me to have new friends and wonderful people that I can talk to and share with and that we can, you know, grow to trust each other and grow to care about one another. You know, because I mean, when you start to get to know someone's heart and not just know them from a distance, but start to really hear their heart, it's, it's easier to have compassion and love toward that person, you know, even when they're a stranger. And being up close with people in my vehicle made it possible for me to, to hear their heart. And, you know, people are, more, they're more wonderful than we know sometimes, you know. I always tell my husband um, about this channel. I always tell him, off and on, I've said this to him now numerous times, you know, these, these folks that are with me, these are people with real lives, real problems, real laughter, real tears um, that, you know, have a real need or whatever the case may be. Maybe you just want to craft and you don't want to hear about all this stuff. Um, if that's the case, I don't want to bore you. But if you are here and you really you want to be a part of a family, um, that's my goal for this channel. And I feel like we are so quickly growing to know one another. And, you know, I think it's, it's awesome that it's happening like that. And because I've experienced what I've experienced, that's my point with Uber and Lyft. I know how possible it is to, to, know some, to meet someone and just love them, you know, right from the start. To just, to just have a relationship with them really quick and that connection so I hope you all feel it too because I really feel that way with many many of you that have reached out to me um, if you haven't reached out and you've desired to talk to me please by all means join our Facebook group message me or come you know comment on the video and let me know you're out there and I'd love to get to know you I will uh, comment back I, I will I think I get back pretty quick, right, you guys? Bobo, you stop it. No, no, no. He's always trying to get into the cabinet in the kitchen under my sink. A little stinker. There's nothing under there for him. Except for maybe Tippy's food. <laughs> now, I'm thinking if I want to try and do, like, um, I was looking here. Do I have any other paper that would match? Are any of Tina's? No, that won't match. I could use one of mine, but this is cardstock. Nah, I'll just stick with what I'm doing because this is cardstock. Now you can, like I said, you can use different papers, or you can use like the opposite side. But I have not distressed all of this, and I need to do that. 
I'm so sloppy with my distressing, aren't I? I love the swirly, dirty, cloudy look. I just, I like it when it has different levels of distress ink on there where you can see it and it's kind of like a cloud, you know, like a brown cloud. <laughs> I think it looks cool. So anyway, yeah, I'm really, really stoked about our channel and about our family and our friendships. I think it's awesome. I think all of you are awesome, is what I'm saying. I'm very blessed to know you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just trim some of this off. I don't need it all. But like I said, I'd rather have more than not enough. Because I found yesterday that I kept running into not enough and it was messing me up. Okay, so I'm going to do a tag. Or tab. I always call them tags. They are not tags. They're tabs. I am aware. Okay. It didn't need to be that far. There we go. Am I in the film? There we go. Sorry, guys. If I was out of frame, I apologize. I know I have a bad habit of that. I catch myself more and more, though. Huh, looks crooked to me. I don't know why. I told you it's probably my eyes are crooked. It's very possible. My new glasses are working good though. My uh, the doctor he he caught that my eyes needed some some adjusting, which was good. Uh, he said that my farsightedness was you know needing a little stronger, which. He said my eyes are healthy, though. I'm trying to use this punch again. I'm going to be worn out by the end of the day from this thing. Oh, come on. I'm, like, putting all my weight on this thing, and it's not wanting to go through. Sheesh. It's very temperamental. There. I had to jump. I'm going to wear you out. I'm too old for this stuff. <laughs> If I had known how difficult it was to use these, I might not have gotten it. <laughs> I love the effect, but she whistle sticks. Okay. And then I'm just going to do this side. I think I'll probably only do the three and we'll decorate one, okay? Because I, um... I don't want to keep you guys forever. This is not a mass make. This is a how-to make. That's why I kind of kept instructing throughout because I, I was very, I was watching and thinking, oh, that's easy, you know. And then when I sat down to do it, I had to keep going back in and rewinding it and watching her do stuff because I was like, oh wait, because you know what it was? I was taking it out of sequence, and I was like gluing something down before I should have. Or I was gluing, like I said, I was trying to be too exact and it wasn't, the measurements weren't right. And um, yeah, so I had to keep watching it. So anyway. All right. Oh my gosh, that punch actually made my chest hurt, like from pushing on it. Whew. It made me winded too. A punch should not be that hard to push, right? I'm thinking that's not normal. I'm going to put it this direction. Okay. I did it that direction with the butterfly because he's, he's the right direction on there and then the flower is the right direction. So I wanted the flower on the front, but it would have been upside down. <laughs> Don't want that. <laughs> so I'm thinking this needs a little bit before it dries. Okay, there. Now we're going to glue down again. Now I left this one a little bit wider. I cut it, because remember I cut it before I really measured it. See what I'm talking about? You can easily misstep with these, so watch how you do them. Sorry, I'm, I'm shaky from that punch, doing that punch. It made me kind of... <sighs> okay. Yes, I am getting older, I guess. I have to admit it. Okay. 
Okay. Now, these are so cute. I really do like them. decorate them. What do we want to do to these? We want to, I want, I was thinking about this earlier. I'm thinking that I want to do, like if I'm going to do anything that's going to raise it, I want it to be on the flat part because on this part, or the pocket part here that you, you stick it into, because on this part I want them to be able to lay it flat to write on it. I don't want it to be bumpy and lumpy, you know, with a bunch of decorative stuff. So I was thinking I'll probably do like a picture, but if I do any lace, I'll probably run it from underneath or along this side or something like that. So just just little things I think about. I, I, I like to keep in mind because, you know, I like these a lot. Oh, and by the way, the envelopes I have are five and a half by four and a half in case you were wondering about the size of them. I think I'm gonna decorate this one. And I gotta figure out what type of decorations I want to use. Let's see here. I'm gonna put all my little punches back where they belong so they're out of my way. And I'm kinda liking this without darkening any more of it. I, I think it's pretty, the, the contrast I like. So I was looking in my little scripture bag um, and I was thinking, I mean, I could use a larger one, but then that's going to cover up all these beautiful flowers. So I think I might just do like a small print or even a paper doll. Let's do a paper doll. That'll be even better because I don't want to make it so that you can't see um, those beautiful flowers. Let's see here. I kind of wanted it to be a woman. These girls are too modern. I want, yeah, they're all too modern. I want it to be no, she's not. There you go. Now, if I can find something for her to sit on, that's a possibility. These guys, no. Uh, I was looking to see if I have one standing up. So, well, here's one standing up. Okay. Um. Hmm. You know what I found earlier, and I put it in here because I didn't want to lose her. This little girl and this puppy. You know, you get one dog in your kit, and so I was thinking. If I could find something, either use her with this little baby and the puppy sitting there looking up at him. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> but I was thinking it would be pretty because she's dressed in white and then this, this young lady is dressed in white. If I could find something for her to sit on. What can I have her sitting on, you guys? I'm never very good at that. I, I'll be honest. I always kind of am like, oh, what could be? <laughs> I need to make myself some little digital benches or something, or buy some benches or something. Um, hmm. Let's see, in my little kit here, what do I have? Because really all we need is I'm just looking in the desk drawer here guys I actually or reorganized again some of my stuff so that it'd be easier to find I was thinking um, really all we need is like a some type of a sign you know for her to sit on but I 
I found that. I would need purple. And this is all blue. Okay. Hmm. Nope. I don't think I even have a piece of this left that I could do something with. So I'm going to use this gal here because she's dressy too. It's just she's in darker clothes and she's in white like the little girl and I thought it looked pretty. But you know what? It's okay. We're going to we're gonna age it on anyway. So the little girl, her dress will look a little browner. <clears throat> okay. And then I was going to see about the smaller, like, scripture reference. See, this one's beautiful, but it'll cover that. And I don't want it to completely cover it, you know. Of course, that actually, let's see. No, because then they'll, they won't be seen. They'll cover it. Never mind. Hmm. I love these, but all of them are like in a green background. I don't have any that are um, any other color. I like that one. I will not be shaken. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. We don't have to be shaken because we were not given a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. Yes, I know I said that scripture just the other day, but it's never, uh, there's, you, you can't ever reference the Lord's word too often in my eyes. Always being reminded of his goodness and his graciousness. Now, I kind of like these flowers with this. I think it looks kind of pretty. And that could kind of, and this is flat enough that when they open it, they can still write on it. That was, that was kind of my point. I wanted to make sure that, um, that they could still write and not be messing up from that, you know? So yeah, I think I'm going to do these and I'm thinking that I'm going to try and put this down because these flowers look really pretty with these flowers. And that scripture is Psalm 121, 1 and 2. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. If he made heaven and earth and all, the, and all that we see within, I'm pretty sure he can help us with our problems. Amen? And he loves you guys. He wants to help. Yeah, I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to sit these these beautiful ladies here, this young lady and her, I'm going to call her her little girl because she could be her mama and their cute little puppy. And the reason I'm kind of distressing this is because I'm going to let this hang over just a little bit. Okay. I like to do that with stuff if it's possible. I think it looks cute. little touch here if I can that glue sticks so fast <laughs> Did I get it good enough yes now that part's gonna be glued down anyway I'm not gonna worry about it and then our little baby girl can go right here I love these little paper dolls so much, my goodness. They're just so cute. Is that straight? Okay. And our little puppy is gonna sit right here next to the flowers. I had no idea where I was gonna use him. I found him a like, I don't know, a 
couple of weeks ago or a week ago or something in my stuff and I was like, oh, I need to put him away because he gets lost. I forget he's even in there. Now I've used him up again. I only, you only get one. They should do like a little um, animal one, you know, that'd be cute. Don't you think of the paper dolls to go with the peeps? Now I want to do... Um, I just did some major cutting and I'm not finished, but I wanted to do my videos for the day and then I'm going back to my fussy cuts of my beautiful Tina bows and butterflies. I had been running very low on them and I think this purple one actually would go better. I was thinking. I was running so low that I haven't even been using them because I didn't have the sizes I like to use left. They were all gone. I like the like the mediums to the the second to the smallest and then the smallest. If you guys have that kit, you know what I'm talking about. They come in like five different sizes, but I just love them and yeah, so I did a lot, a lot, a lot of cutting. I'm wondering, should I have done this lilac? colored one instead and very lightly distressed I think my ink is so juicy it's coming off kind of thick there we go now should I put that or should we do a butterfly what do you guys think um there's some, some butterflies. Let's look at them. I always use butterflies. You guys see me use them a lot, so that's why I was kind of like, eh. If they're gorgeous. I mean, they're always gorgeous. Maybe I'll do both. <laughs> Just a smaller version. Let me see here. These are yellow. I don't want yellow. Here's a pretty one. Pretty, pretty. And this is going to go in such a way that, you know, it'll be glued down. It won't really be impacted by the movement of the page or anything. So, I am very lightly distressing that. Put some lace. Let's see. Some ruffle along the edge here. I have more of it. That's too short, of course. But. Oh, these are in the way now. Okay. Just in the edge. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just a little bit. It's not even gonna. I don't want it to cover the flowers, so I was just thinking it'd be pretty. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This um, this particular sentence, it says, fix your eyes on Jesus. It always makes me think. Every time I read that, I hear in my head that song. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. I love that song <laughs> so much. Okay, we're going to put that right there. So this 
ribbon will be glued down to the page as well as this part, the frame, so it'll really be in place. And I may have to use this on a, because I made it, by doing this, I've made it longer. So I'm probably going to have to use this, do this in a place where, like a larger journal. Um, or even, I don't know, even the cover. I don't know, we'll see. So there's that, and then, let's see. Hmm, that one's pretty. I still want one of these bows. I have been cutting and cutting and cutting, and I feel like I have earned using one. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but it's true. I'm like, I'm gonna use a bow. <laughs> I have to. I don't know where, but I'm gonna use one. Oops. Oh, heaven's sake, Sarah. I picked up my glue gun, and of course I knocked everything else down. I'm thinking I want to use the glue gun to put this down. But if I do, then it's going to be raised a little bit, so of course we need to distress the back, just in case people happen to see the back. I don't want it to be white, because you know I'm like that. Now do I want that one, or do I want the one? I, I'm kind of not liking the distress ink on these, because it went on so dark. Um, like that one, it went on super dark. I should have just left it, I think. Let's see if I have another purple one that's that color in that size, or approximately. Let's see. That one's cute. Hmm. 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 I have two whole little bins full of this size, so. I might have another one in here somewhere. Oh, that one's pretty. That one's a little bit darker. Okay. Or oh, that one is nice. I kind of like that one. I'll use that one. Or do we like that? No, I like the lighter one. Okay. Since you're not here to tell me, <laughs> now I'm not going to distress the bow. I'm just doing these edges so they're not very white. And I will do a little brown on the back. Like I said, in case it shows, it won't be stark white. Okay. Now let's see. Do we want to do it right here? Yeah. I'm going to do it right there. So, what do you guys think? Do we need a little bling right there? What time is it? Oh, it's time for us to say farewell. It's that time. So once I get the blingy on, I'm gonna end the video. Till tomorrow. <laughs> okay, come on now. There we go. There's my little tweezers. These worked so good yesterday. I'm going to use them again. Now that I found them, I'm so happy. Let me just get this to stick for a second. All right. So there we go. There's our... Isn't she pretty? I like it. I hope you guys do too. I hope you make some of these and you let me know. Uh, list them, post them in our Facebook group so we can all see them and enjoy your work. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.